How could you describe this game and emphasize what it makes good? You can say about this game, when art meets gaming it doesn't need necessary to be brilliant. The game finally gets 65 points in the gaming magazine with the note, it's a matter of taste. And yeah, like this you can describe the game in a few sentences. I know that many of you will be bored, others, including me, find it fascinating. But what is this for a game at all? And why do I think it's great art while others fall asleep because of doing nothing in-game? By the way, I don't repeat the name of the game because it's French and I can't speak French. In the simple sense, this game is a walking simulator. And the most walking simulators don't shine with much interactive gameplay. All the time you do nothing more than walking in the world. And that's the main reason why are so many bored of this game, I think. But the most walking simulators are like this. I love this game because of this elusive, this abstruse world. You can say about this game, when art meets gaming, under the premise that you don't see gaming like art. And the music. I think everything that you can see in this world is highlighted with suitable music. But don't worry because of spoilers, the content of the game is that what you can see and explore. And everything you see in this video is material from the first hour. I don't want to anticipate what makes this game just so good. The sense of the game is to find the destination. Obvious, when the only thing you can do is walking. This sounds easy, but it's harder than you think. The game works with light and shadow. Often, the way it doesn't open up immediately. The difficulty of the game is to find a way. For example, this is one of the harder sequences. At this point you can say, the journey is the reward. And yes, the game embodies the saying. So it's of advantage to have fun to explore the world. And it's of disadvantage when you are quickly frustrated. Especially in this game. Because I guess the developers had fun to fuck us up sometimes. It can happen that you go and go like 10 minutes around in the world and then you recognize that you are completely wrong. And if you are going back, you notice that you can't go back. And then you can load the last checkpoint. But don't think that this is a negative point in the game. For me, it was a welcome change. So if you see stairs which looks like never ending, then go back. But there's more than light and shadow. Often you are running. This sounds boring too and it would be wouldn't the developers are smart guys. Because when you're running you have to tap your mouse paradoxically. If you don't, the protagonists run out of air. This sounds easy and it is easy but this will make sure that you will not get bored. To be honest, there's one short part in the game that I don't like so much. And in this part this mouse clicking makes it much more difficult. Besides exploring, there are also riddles. Not hard, but always amusing. But this don't make the game so good. What it makes so good, I will come to that now. Or I already have said it. It's this world. Behind this world, personally, there is something fascinating. Just at the beginning the world looks like there are somebody living. You can see really big residential complexes. Light windows, flats and something like a bar. But on the other side all looks so sterile, it looks abandoned. But besides this, there are also places with art. Art which looks like that modern art in cities, but the difference is, it looks good and it fits. One of my personal favorite places appears quite early. You go around a corner and then you see... 
whatever it is. And then the game says to you, go down. First time I thought that is the game. You go down there and then it ends, but it takes only 30 minutes and then you are there. And one last but very important point, the music. This is not the music I hear personally, but with this game it fits so well. The music is the main reason why this game is so atmospheric. The combine of optic and sound. This is why I think the game is so incredibly good. So I can dive in this world and philosophize what the hell this world actually is. Why looks everything so strange and why is here nobody? But maybe I'm the only one who asked this himself. But you can also try it and maybe think about similar things too. You can explore this world by yourself and there is so much more to explore. <laughs>